Greetings, Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back as we look at another indie game. This time I'm checking out the new medieval fantasy RPG called Kingdoms and Castles on the PlayStation. This game is the breakout by developer Lion Shield Studios and was published by my friends at Blitworks who have created several awesome indie games I've previously reviewed, including Vigante, Everhood Eternity Edition, and the excellent survival game Dig or Die. Kingdoms and Castles is a city builder set in the brutal world of the Dark Ages, where life is short and death, disease and war are commonplace. The game challenges the player to build their own medieval kingdom from nothing. Starting with a tiny village, and eventually building a thriving city that will last for eons. The game released to positive reviews, with players praising the game's streamlined management mechanics and more casual feel when compared to other games in the genre. City building games don't port to console very well historically, due to their complexity, so I was curious to see how Kingdoms and Castles translates to the PlayStation. Kingdoms and Castles gives the player control to create their very own kingdom in a procedurally generated world, with the player taking the responsibility of an ambitious ruler. You begin with nothing but a few basic resources and a handful of villages, constructing simple buildings to house your people, and creating farms to provide food. Keeping your people happy and healthy will result in more people joining your village providing a larger workforce which you can use to start constructing larger buildings and upgrading your kingdom with granaries, orchards and livestock. From there you can begin industrializing your operation with quarries, blacksmiths and markets to enable taxation and trade. Your growing kingdom will eventually attract unwanted attention from hostile forces, including Viking raiders, other kingdoms trying to take your resources for themselves, and hungry dragons looking to make a meal out of your villages. You'll need to construct walls, archery towers, and recruit and outfit an army of your own for when you go on the offensive. Finally, you'll need to keep track of the changing seasons, preparing for the colder months by stockpiling food, materials, and medicine to ensure your people remain healthy throughout the winter. The greatest strength of kingdoms and castles lies in the ease of which you can manage your kingdom. The developers have taken great care in streamlining the city building mechanics. Rather than micromanaging individual villages, the game uses a task board, where you simply assign a set number of villages to each role with additional roles automatically added as a building or technology becomes available. Resource gathering is also a simple affair, where you designate an area for villagers to gather a resource from and they will harvest all available materials. The user interface is also easy to use, offering you an overall view of the state of your kingdom, with a list of suggestions on what buildings or technology to focus on next along with a very simple and easy to understand trading system where players can manage tax rates and trade via the treasury. Finally, the game's building menu is very intuitive, with buildings ordered by type and category. You can construct several buildings at a time, rotating and snapping them into position, easily connecting them to warehouses and granaries with roads and setting wagons to transport resources. This is complemented by the game's superb controls, which make managing your kingdom a breeze even on the console. Kingdoms and Castles is by far one of the best city building games I've played on the PlayStation, with an extremely intuitive interface easy to learn city management mechanics, and some smooth controls making the game a pleasure to play. 
Despite its ease of use, the game gives a player full control of the level of challenge. With several difficulty options and a peaceful difficulty that perfectly caters to new players. The combination of procedurally generated maps and the masterful implementation of AI factions ensures that players will enjoy this game for many hours. The only criticism I can offer is that this game would really benefit from the inclusion of a cooperative mode, as I would love to play the game with my friends and family. If you're looking for a budget city builder, Kingdoms and Castles is one of the best options on the console. I hope you enjoyed my review of Kingdoms and Castles. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe as it really helps the channel. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I hope you join me next time when we check out another indie game. Until then, Skill Incarnate, out.